Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays and welcome to Season 5, Part 5 of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. Now, I've played a couple of days off screen on fast mode, basically. So just to catch you guys up, it is Jace's birthday, so she's about to age him up. And little Ivan is got threes in his he's got threes in his imagination and thinking and twos in communication movement and potty he's almost at three in, in movement so basically when he gets out of bed that should be enough to kick him over uh we had new year's eve but i didn't really bother doing anything with it so she's feeling a bit emo but it's being overridden by other things and once we've aged up this toddler and got him downstairs i'm gonna have her feed because very hungry. It is a Sunday, though it doesn't really matter because we don't have any children, like school-aged children in the house. So that's kind of where we're up to. I debated, like someone knocked on the door while she was in the middle of trying to repair something. And on New Year's Eve, and I was a guy, so I was going to invite him in and like woohoo with him and I was going to start recording them. But by the time the repair didn't finish. It was quite weird. So I don't know if that was a bug, but she was just standing there repairing this thing for ages. And she's got quite high handiness now. So I feel like it was a bug. And by the time she, I cancelled it and then actually just replaced the stereo and he'd left. So here we go. Jace has aged up. Looks like he's a little blondie bear. And he is a charmer. Well, indeed, he is a charmer. What a cutie. He looks so much like his grandma, like the hair, the eyes. He's definitely got the grandma's coloring, that's for sure. All right, so we'll let him take his first steps and then we'll get him downstairs and then get him on the treadmill. How are his needs? I literally just fed you. How can you possibly be hungry? Anyway, whatever, whatever. Please don't, no, don't, don't put him down. It's the only annoying thing about having the nursery upstairs. So pick him up. He wants to go to the doll house. Isn't the doll house downstairs? I don't know. Maybe I should have let him. I wonder if if the Sims cues the action, if it will actually work. So we'll put Jace down in the toddler room. We jumped ahead a tiny bit just because my fraps crashed and then it all went a bit wrong. But the game seems to have recovered. Fraps is running again, I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm talking to myself. And so I've got little Jace just having some food. And then I think I'm going to get... Uh, Georgia, once she's finished eating, just to come back and start the potty training. And we're, let's see, we are, she's in her second trimester. So given that I'll probably be doing a lot of this on fast speed, given the lack of school age children to worry about and all that kind of thing, I think we'll probably have the baby in this part. We'll see how we go. I haven't cheated to see what she's having. I'm hoping it's a girl. Just because we don't currently have a backup heir in the house. If something were to happen to Georgia, we would be in a spot of bother, as they say. I don't know who they are, and I don't know why they're saying it, but they do. So, come on, let's go. Let's go. Little dude's bored. Quick, put him in the potty. Go, go. How are his other needs? Not too bad. He does need to do something fun. So, after we've done this... I will have her play dolls with Jace. Oh, he's dreaming about paper bags. This is the first time we've, I think I've had a toddler, like since the sentiments came in, I think they came in as Nellie was wrapping up her time as matriarch and we were kind of phasing out of the whole having toddlers thing. I think this is the first toddler we've had, I think, maybe I've just missed it in the past, that has had sentiments. And of course, toddlers tend to pitch a fit if you ask them to do something and they don't want to do. And little Ivan has a negative sentiment towards his mum. So if I open this up, he's feeling hurt by her because she tried to potty train him or put him in the bath or something. I can't remember what it was. But every time she goes near him, he gets a sad moodlet, which is very, very sad. They definitely should patch that because the thing is toddlers are programmed to be little temperamental brats and then make their parents angry. <laughs> and then the hurt sentiment pops up. Like, oh my God, this guy hasn't got one yet. So maybe it's not guaranteed, but I am a bit sad that poor little Ivan just doesn't like his mum. Honey, I did ask you to do stuff with him. Yeah, you want to learn some shapes? About shapes. I find thinking skills the one that's the hardest for me to do without adult intervention. 
So I'm going to take advantage of her current availability. Yeah, see, she's annoyed from a disobedient toddler, but there was no sentiment involved. So the reason I find thinking skills the most problematic is I try and avoid using the tablets just because you. I took me a while to figure it out, but they gain skill slower with the tablets than they do with, like, other things. So you could just park them on tablets all day, but everything takes longer. So... You can get from level one communication with the bear or the unicorn or whatever, like the blaffy toys. You can get from level one uh, creativity with a heap of different things like the toy box and the castle. And you can get from movement one just by walking around, but also from stereos and all this. Potty, obviously, you need adult intervention. But thinking, they can't use the blocks until thinking level two. You can have the toddlers go around and go, what's that on things? Like, what's this garbage bin? And they'll get thinking skill. But it's really, like, click intensive. No, you can't read him to sleep. Try again. Read him to sleep. Harry wants to come over. Sure, you can come over and hang out. All right, let's go. No? How about this room? Is there something to do with the way I've built these rooms? I have had this glitch in the past. All right, so she can do it in that room. Interesting. I thought the layout was identical. That's really weird. Okay, whatever. The other thing I wanted to catch you guys up on is uh, her skills, because she's doing quite well. Now, George is the first matriarch, you may remember, who I actually got the... She got socially gifted as a child, She and she's got the quick learner trait from her aspiration, which all my sims get. But especially for socially gifted, she's like, I think... Uh, she's parenting level nine already. She's charisma level eight already. Gardening and handiness are not social, but she's got six and seven in those, or seven and six in those. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm actually really shocked at how quickly she's gotten to charisma level eight. And usually with the matriarchs, they're quite incompetent at seduction when they first sort of start out. Oh, hey, there's my boy. Well, my, not my boy, my brother. Let's invite him to feel the baby. And we'll have a deep conversation. I could ask him for a loan, but it seems a bit mean. Oh, she does want to do pranks. Sorry, Harry Jr., but that means you. Let's play What's That Spot. And we'll shuffle snow at him. I don't know how, because we're inside. And we will impersonate mermaids. And that's all. All right. So I guess I'll just have these guys skip through. Oh, actually, this little dude's ready to wake up. So I'm going to get him up now. I was going to say, I'll skip through to when he wakes up. But no. All right. We've got some fruit salad. Come over here. That should be enough to get your movement up. And then what do you need? Just communication and potty. All right. We'll have you go potty. No, don't hit the toy. There we go. Movement level three. That didn't take long. Babble, 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 babble. Hopefully he might have to go back on the potty again. But he's pretty close. And if we can get him aged up. Oh, he's going to miss school tomorrow. It's too late. That's annoying. How are we going over here? We've got a little tick. Mischief. Invite to a fake. Oh, how did we do that inside? We'll instill with false confidence. Are you kidding me? Look at this guy. That's genuine confidence. She's mischief level three. Is mischief counted as a social skill? Come back. Where's he gone? There he is. Can I share prank day spirit with you? And come on. Claim to be a criminal mastermind. That will make him tense, but he doesn't live here, so I don't care. Uh, lie about a career. Can we give him residence keys? I'll give him residence keys. I usually give residence keys to the previous matriarch, but as previously discussed, I am not interested in having Nelly. Let's dare to streak. I am not interested in having Nelly come over. Now, she has finished the prank day thing, but I'm going to dare him to streak anyway, because it's funny. It's like, hey, I'm going to get naked and run down the street. Oh, streaking's not really going to work with that form. He's probably just going to go poof. Yeah, there we go. Poof. Where'd he go? Where are you going? Buddy. He's gone. He just teleported around naked. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this little dude because I reckon he'll be ready to age up soon. And I'll touch base back with you guys when he is. I think it's about to happen, you guys. See what I mean? He's sad because she's in the room. 
He's feeling hurt. Sad plus two. Very, very, very tragic story. I'm hoping I don't get that too often with toddlers. But yeah, little Ivan has threes in everything. So I guess you can stop that. Let's clean that real quick. And then we'll take the little guy out and have him blow out some candles. And then he won't be such a little guy anymore. I Obviously, the sentiment's going to stick around. Like, there's no prospect that it's going to immediately go away because we're aging him up, which is very sad. So, you know, hopefully, yeah, like I said, hopefully that doesn't happen too often. I don't know if being sad, like having the sad mood let affects their, the speed of their skill gain. Like, look at his little face. So cute. Yeah. Happy birthday, buddy. No? No, apparently not. Oh, there we go. Just a bit slow. Okay, he is a child of the islands, and I usually put all my kids on mental. Oh, I forgot. I downloaded some custom aspirations, and I got, a, I think, one for kids, which is on a student. These child sims want to be recognized for achieving high grades and high marks. Well, obviously, I'm going to pick that. And then we'll pop that there. Now, ooh, who's hers? Oh, she's got one with Jace. <gasps> Jace has a festering grudge against her, and she is adoring of him. See this? This is not okay. I don't want every child in the house to hate the matriarch. I mean, it's a pretty messed up family situation. I get that. But still, like, not super okay with this. All right, eat that. And then you can do that. All right, that's him taken care of. Cool. So I guess we're just waiting for her. And when this little dude, actually, he's pretty much ready to get up now. So I'll get him up and we'll, oh, I didn't put that away. Go have some of that before it goes off. Oh, the timer has gone away. That's nice. I like it when that happens. As long as the food doesn't glitch. Like the food is obviously glitched, but as long as the food doesn't glitch in the way that they don't get food from it and can't eat the meals anymore, because I have seen that happen. So he's just hungry. He's feeling fine, and his mum is... Are you helping him with his homework or just distracting him? Do a smooth apology for whatever it is that he thinks you did. Sorry I asked you to have a bath one time. They can become best friends, and he is feeling hurt by her. I do get... Like, I do really like the sentiments. I think they've made a big difference to gameplay. But I do get the objection that Molly... I've heard Molly say it a couple of times and other, like when I say Molly, I mean English simmer and other simmers may have said it too, like other YouTubers. I don't like how not far reaching the effects of sentiments are. Like she shouldn't have become best friends as an option if he's got a negative sentiment to her. I feel like as annoying as it is that he has the negative sentiment, like more broadly, like if I have a husband cheat on a wife and get caught and she's feeling hurt, and a bunch of other negative sentiments. Presumably, I've not actually seen them. But if she's feeling negative towards him, he shouldn't be able to become best friends with her because they still have a high friendship, you know? I don't know. It would be. It would just be nice if there were more negative consequences. That's why I like the sentiments that we do have as far as they go, because at least there are some negative consequences for actions. Like, yeah, pay those 22000 Lucky we're like millionaires and stuff. So I realized I hadn't checked whether Jace was a vampire or not. I've gotten a bit of rusty between matriarchs because I didn't do the same thing. I didn't check with Vivan either, and he's not. If you missed it, I did actually in editing, I noticed he was a human and I actually popped up like a little arrow pointing to the... Because it's the icon, the needs icon will show you if their needs are good. It'll show you what supernatural they are. He's a human and also Jace is a human. So there you go. That's a thing. I don't know why. I don't know why we've had two humans in a row. I'm trying not to feel paranoid, but you know, there we are. Humans. Humans as far as the eye can see. At least they're not aliens. Oh, oh, George has gone into labor, you guys. It's happening. It's happening. I'm, I'm going to park him on the tablet just for his thinking skill. Just for a little bit, because Georgia is going to be busy having a baby. All right, where are we? I don't know why I said it like that. I believe in you, Mama. Let's see if it's another boy, a human boy. Apparently that's all she has. <laughs> Let's see. 
I mean, I won't be able to tell if it's a human or a vampire or not. You can't tell when they are babies. I thought for a while you could, but you can't. We just had a lot of vampires. So the thing I thought was, oh, it's another boy. <laughs> the thing I thought was related to, the, like, there's a little experience icon that pops up above the crib, the bassinet. And I thought for a while that that meant it was a vampire. But it doesn't, because I've had that with humans as well. All right, it is a boy. Now, we did have a suggestion in the comments for name a name for a boy. It was Keanu. That's how I pronounce it. We've already actually had a Keanu, so I'm not going to use that name, but thank you, Pandas Go Boom, for your awesome name suggestion, as always. The fact I've already used it is a sign of how awesome it is. Now, the boy name I had as my backup for uh, a K was Keegan. So we're going to go with Keegan Corby. I love the alliteration. Very nice. Welcome to the world, Keegan. Hey, little dude. If you are also a human, I'm actually going to wonder if Georgia is glitched. Just putting it out there. God, imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine having a matriarch that couldn't have girls. Oh my God. I feel like I'd have to cheat. I mean, possibly she'll be our last matriarch, in which case it wouldn't matter. But I don't like the not having a kind of backup situation yeah that's a thing anyway welcome to the family little object i'm gonna go back to paying attention to the real people now he's got an infantry full of food i'll get him to do that now he was super tired i actually had to have him have a nap because he like aged up in the middle of the night uh all right i'm gonna have him go to the bathroom and then play Oh, no, don't don't play chess with your mum. I think you've still got some kind of hurt sentiment. I'm trying to keep him away from Georgia, which is terrible. I feel really bad. Jace doesn't seem, even though he has that festering grudge, I haven't seen any moodlets from it. So I've decided I don't care. All right, Georgia, can you come down here? Oh, actually, forget that. I was going to have her work with him. But I realized I should have her get pregnant. That would make way more sense. All right, we're going to climb and slide and slide and slide and slide. I've decided I actually quite like this swatch for the slide. This is the same slide Nellie had, but um, because Nellie, being childish, I gave her brightly colored everything. So she had like the red, yellow and blue, I think, swatch. And I like the kind of muted tones of that. I feel like this house is a lot classier. All right, who should we invite over? Because it's time. And then I guess I'll end this part. Okay, so who have we got? We've got four choices. I think they were all adults from memory. We'll invite Fabian over. I think we met him first. Hey, Fabian. Want to get me pregnant? He's like, boy, do I? I assume. I mean, he might say no. You never, ever know. Nope, he said yes. Okay, doke. I might actually have him eat and then go to bed. Because I don't have to worry about him. Uh, mama's doing the devil's tango. All right. There we go. Eat that. And then sleep in there. Voting is now closed. Free love won. Oh, I forgot. I voted for free love. Because <laughs> I figured then Sims won't get jealous. Like if I had, you know, woohooed someone during the welcome wagon, it wouldn't have mattered. I, it's not cheating if it's in the game, right? I mean, I know the rules predate the naps, but... I feel it feels kind of cheaty, but at the same time, where'd he go? Uh, is he in here? He's not in there. If I click on something and say woohoo, will you find him? You will. Okay, well, we'll just go with that then, shall we? This little dude's taking himself off to bed. What a good little boy. And he's back on the chess table. And then I'll have him also go to bed. So, did you find him? Oh, he was outside. He's doing the pre-parental panic run. Is that because... Okay, that happened last time too. All right, fairy man. I'd rather not have a cheese hair baby, but, you know, that's fine. Now, just so you guys know, I'm going to have to pre-record the next part. So I'm actually going to record it back to back with this one, which may or may not mean I can take name suggestions. I know Pandas Go Boom did suggest some names down the alphabet a little, so we may be able to use those just because I'm hoping... COVID willing, which I feel like is just, you know, the world now. We've got a holiday, like my son and I are supposed to be going down the coast next weekend, which I'm very excited about. And I'm going to be very sad if we have to cancel. The case numbers are actually very low in Australia, but because the approach our government is taking is 
lockdowns, whether, whenever anything happens, there's a halfway decent chance that we'll have to cancel, which is sad. But we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Right. How are you going? Fabian, don't leave. Where are you going? Please be pregnant, honey. Come on. No, you can't leave. Oh, you've gone outside to socialize with Oscar. Do we know Oscar? Are you guys flirting? All right, she is pregnant. So I'm going to have her ask to just be friends. And then let's come and say hi to Oscar. Do we know Oscar? Was he, were we related? We're not related. Or at least if we are, we're not closely related. After about, like, second cousins, the game forgets. This is how, like, mutations happen. This is how negative traits become positive traits, not recessive, I think. I mean, what do I know about science? Oh, we've got a crying baby. Sorry. Wait. Come up here. So, uh, we'll change that and do the usuals. Now, I was thinking about having her woohoo with this guy, but... I might just leave it as it is, and they can do whatever the heck they want. I'm going to end this part here. If he's still sticking around when I'm recording the next part, I might have him, like, I might have her woohoo him as well. I mean, why not? Uh, get him in the queue. Oh, we're parenting level 10. Super efficient baby care on the third child of the generation. I think that's pretty sweet. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that, I have to say. All right, you can go to bed, buddy. Off you go. All right, I'm actually going to end this part here. Uh, ooh, there's stink clouds. Is that you, Georgia? Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's fine. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.